Hey, we'll start this one. Slash real life lore. For a good chunk of the past few centuries, this music was the final boss music played for people across the entire world. The English, and later the British, have been responsible for invading and conquering more countries and people than any other nation in human history. And honestly, it's startling just how many places they've been to. In this video, I'm going to do my best at attempting to visualize all of Britain's invasions and conquests for you, continent by continent, in as brief a time as possible. I've seen podcasts and talks dedicated to the fact that the British have invaded all but 22 countries. So when I saw the title of this one, I liked the twist that they put on it because usually they just focus on the 22 countries that weren't invaded at some point. This is the opposite, focusing on all the countries that have been invaded. So I expect the list to be long. And I do think that a good amount of these invasions were during the world wars. Although some of the countries have been invaded more than once, so. France has entered the chat. So let's begin with the closest continent to Britain, Europe. Ireland was the first target of British conquests and was invaded as early as 1169. Within 400 years of gradual conquests, the entire island was ruled by the British and remained that way until most of it was granted independence in 1921. Historically, France has probably been invaded by the English more times than any other country in the world. Just take a look at this huge list of invasions. There's not even enough time to talk about a third of these. And for a time, all of this territory inside of modern France was directly controlled by the English, with Calais being the final piece that fell in 1557. Well, except for that time when the British took over Corsica for a couple years. The British continue to invade Spain by the millions every winter, but in the past, they've come with a lot less friendly intentions. The amount of British and German people in some of the Canary Islands in Mallorca is... <laughs> Funny you mentioned English that. and later British soldiers invaded under the Black Prince in 1367 and continued on through the first, second, third, and fourth raids on Cadiz and that time when the British took yes. over Gibraltar and Menorca. They gave Menorca back but decided on keeping Gibraltar forever. In recent history, the British have invaded Belgium in order to support the Belgians. But that wasn't always the case. They conducted two pretty large-scale invasions of modern-day Belgium in 1654 and again in 1701. And Flanders itself was ruled by the English for a few years in the 14th century. The Netherlands was one of England's historical arch-rivals, and so there's been plenty of invasions going in this direction across the 17th and 18th centuries. In 1940, the British technically invaded and took over Iceland peacefully for a year in order to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Germans. But this was heavily protested by the Icelandic government at the time, so in my books it still counts as an invasion. Italy, of Fair. course, was invaded by the British Army during the Second World War as well in 1943, but there were plenty of invasions before then dating back to Richard the Lionheart's invasion in 1190. Germany, oh. too, was obviously invaded by the British Army in 1945, and northwestern Germany was occupied by the British for three years until 1948, but a lot of German territory was ruled by Britain long before then. The islands of Heligoland were British for most of the 19th century, and the Kingdom of Hanover was effectively ruled under a personal union for over a century between 1714 and 1837. Austria was also invaded in 1945, and the southwest of the country was World occupied for a decade. Norway was invaded in 1810 and 1812 during the Napoleonic Wars when it was a part of Denmark-Norway because Denmark was aligned to France, so obviously Denmark was invaded during that time as well. Finland, Estonia, and Latvia were all briefly invaded by small units during the Crimean War against Russia because they were all part of the Russian Empire at the time, and of course, Russia itself itself was invaded then too, Massive. as well as in 1918, when the British took over a large chunk of northern Russia for a time in their fight against the Bolsheviks. The territory of modern Ukraine was invaded by British army units during the Crimean War. The British took over the Croatian island of Vis between 1807 and 1814 during their fight against Napoleon. The British army had boots and guns on the ground in Bosnia recently between 1992 and 95, fighting against the Bosnian Serbs. And around the same time, the RAF also carried out bombing strikes 
against Serbian Serb targets in Serbia in 1999. Montenegro was briefly blockaded and invaded in 1913 during the First Balkan War. The British owned the westernmost Ionian islands of Greece between 1815 and 1863 before they gave them back, while Bulgaria was invaded and almost entirely occupied by the British Army between 1918 and 1919 at the end of World War I. Cyprus was a British protectorate between 1878 and 1914 Where's when they Cyprus? decided to just outright annex it to piss off the Turks, and it remained annexed until 1960, except for two small chunks that are still British today. Turkey itself was massively invaded by the British during World War I, and part of it was occupied between 1919 and 1923. That wraps up Europe, so let's move on to Asia next. Oh. Modern day Israel and Palestine, as well as Jordan, Gee. were British controlled from the end of World War I to 1948 and 1946, respectively. Lebanon and Syria were both occupied from the Vichy French government briefly during World War II. Iraq was ruled between 1919 and 1932 and invaded again during the Second World War and again in 1991 and again. That's a bit random, but I've never seen Iraq in English spelled I-R-A-K, only I-R-A-Q. In Spanish, it's I-R-A-K, and it's pronounced with that K sound, but how are you spelling it? Let me know. In 2003, Kuwait was a colony for over 60 years until 1966. Georgia and Azerbaijan were both invaded and occupied right at the end of World War I for a year. Iran has been invaded at least three times, with the most notable example being the joint Anglo-Soviet invasion of 1941. Turkmenistan was invaded in 1918 to prevent Bolshevik influence from spreading any further. Afghanistan is a favorite British invasion spot since it's been invaded in 1839, 1878, 1919, and again in 2001. Qatar, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, and Oman were all controlled by the British until the early 1970s, while a chunk of Yemen was controlled for over a century between 1839 and 1967. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka were all, of course, invaded many times and outright ruled by the British Empire in parts for nearly two centuries between 1757 and 1947. Nepal was invaded in 1814 but never successfully conquered. Bhutan was invaded in 1772 uh, and again in 1864 and was sort of conquered as a protectorate between 1910 and 1948. Burma slash Myanmar was invaded in 1826 and was definitely successfully conquered and ruled through 1947. Thailand was briefly invaded in 1945 since they were allied to Japan in World War II and so was Vietnam in the same year but that was to support the French government against the growing independence movement. Malaysia and Singapore were each conquered and ruled up until the 1950s and 1960s. 60s, Brunei was conquered and ruled up until the 1980s, whereas the Philippines were briefly invaded during the Seven Years' War. China got invaded a lot, and Hong Kong was a colony until as recently as 1997. And while not outright invaded, part of Japan was occupied following World War II between 1946 and 1952. And finally, Indonesia was invaded a bunch during the Napoleonic Wars since it was a Dutch colony aligned to France at the time. Next up, Oceania. Australia and New Zealand, of course, were invaded by the British and established as colonies that each gained independence in 1931. Papua New Guinea was also a British colony for a time, as were the island countries of Fiji, Kiribati, the Solomon Islands, Tuvalu, and Vanuatu. Let's move back over to Africa next, which the British have violently visited a lot. In terms of just places the British outright colonized after invasions, there's the Gambia, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Nigeria, Egypt, Sudan, South Sudan, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, and South Africa, along with parts of modern day This Somalia. just has me thinking of how many countries must celebrate an Independence Day from Britain. And Guinea. Senegal was briefly invaded and had some other coastline taken over in the 1700s, while during the Second World War, the British invaded the French colonies of Djibouti, Madagascar, and Comoros after they aligned themselves with the Nazi Vichy regime, and the Italian colonies of Libya, Eritrea, and Ethiopia, although they had also invaded Ethiopia much earlier in 1868. And as German colonies right before World War I, the British also invaded Togo and Cameroon without annexing them afterwards. For the final area of the world so left much to 
Thus, Africa. let's move over to the Americas. All of Canada was a British colony until 1931, while Newfoundland remained until 1949. The United States, of course, was a colony until 1776, 1776 and was invaded again in 1812, and the modern states of Oregon and Washington were claimed right up until 1846. That as far as other outright thing. British colonies here go, there was the Bahamas, Jamaica, Belize, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Trinidad and Tobago, and Guyana. Besides colonies, Cuba was invaded and occupied during the Seven Years' War in 1762. Haiti was invaded in 1793 mm. during the French Revolutionary Wars. The Dominican Republic was invaded way back in 1655 in an attempt at conquest under Oliver Cromwell. Parts of the east coast of Honduras and Nicaragua were conquered and ruled for nearly two centuries until 1819. That's not how you they sent the Nicaragua. Navy to invade Mexico in 1861 to force them to repay some debts, and during the splendidly named War of Jenkins' Year, aka the more lame-sounding war of the Austrian succession, the British invaded a lot of Spain's colonies, including Panama, a huge one into Colombia, and ultimately Peru. In 1796, the British took over Suriname because it was a Dutch colony, and they were allied with a revolutionary French and later Napoleon. They also invaded Martinique and Guadeloupe because they actually were French during the Napoleonic Wars. Venezuela was invaded in 1902 as part of the so-called Venezuela Crisis to force the country to repay some debts they had defaulted on kind of like Mexico, while Argentina and Uruguay were both invaded during the Napoleonic Wars as well in 1806 when Spain and her colonies were still allied with Napoleon. And that pretty much sums up all of the territory the British have ever ruled and all of the countries this small island has ever invaded. There are a total of 65 countries today who celebrate their independence days from the British Empire. The Empire used to rule Not over as many a as I thought, of actually. all the world's land at the same time <laughs> okay. and was the biggest empire in human history. And in total, today, there have been 117 modern countries that have been aggressively invaded by the British armed forces during some point in their histories, representing a total of 60% of all the world's nations, which is almost the same number of countries that you can watch this video in. YouTube is available in 130 countries now, or about two thirds of them, but the algorithm that YouTube uses won't always work the way you think or want it to. It determines which videos succeed, which ones don't, and which ones you end up seeing recommended. But it doesn't always line up with the kinds of videos Okay, I that's produce. an ad. I really like videos like this one. I'll probably have to watch it again after this though. I did learn a lot from it, and it made me want to look into the history of some of these invasions, because Britain had a lot of quests and side quests. He did pack quite a lot into those few minutes, although there were some countries that he didn't mention. So if you think that there's a country that should have been mentioned or you want to expand on one of the countries he did, feel free to do that in the comments. I don't think he mentioned Portugal or Malta. Those are the only two that come to mind. But I'm sure some of you caught a lot more than I did. You will find this video linked in the bio. It's from Real Life Lore. And in a previous video we watched, from Al Murray, the comedian. I believe that one was called Name a Country We've Defeated Them. He's British. I recommended a book from Niall Ferguson that was called Empire, How Britain Made the Modern World. And then there's also a free YouTube documentary with the same title. So if you haven't read that, I recommend it if you're interested in this at all. And then in that video, I was recommended from quite a few subscribers, another book, Understanding the British Empire. I did end up reading that one. And although it's a bit, it is a bit drier than Empire from Niall Ferguson, if you're into history, I think it's a solid choice. They both come from very different perspectives. Niall is Scottish, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll look for both of those, link them both in the bio, as well as the free documentary on the British Empire. And if you have anything to recommend, either video-wise or book-wise, on the same subject, please do, because now I'm going to deep dive, because that's the type of person I am. <laughs> so I think it would be fun also to look at other countries, if you have a country in mind that you want to recommend to the channel and a corresponding video, let me know the title. And that's all for me. Leave your thoughts on any of this, and thank you for watching with me.